Example 8. All right, so far we have learned how to code a message, encode it. Now we're going to learn how to decode a message. So in the direction it says use the inverse of the matrix A to decode the cryptogram. If you notice, I already found your inverse. So what you can do is just on your calculator, type in 1, 2, 2, 3, 7, 9, negative 1, negative 4, negative 7. Then hit your A to negative 1 button. And then you find your inverse gives you this bad boy over here. And so what we're going to do is if you take the numbers that are given to you, break them up into groups of three. Remember, we still need a one by three matrix because in order to multiply a one by three matrix by a three by three, you have to make sure you go in the correct order. These two numbers are the same, which gives you a result of one, three. If you try to take your a, whoops, you try to tell your A times each of these uh, one by threes, that isn't going to work so hot because these two numbers are not the same. Your number of columns in the first matrix is not the same as that. So do not do it like this. Make sure you multiply them correctly. So you can plug all this into your calculator. You're going to have a separate um, matrix for this problem for your inverse and then uh, or you could just leave all this as A. I guess that would make more sense. So when you multiply, plug this in for B. And then this would be like your C matrix. And then D. And then E. So when you plug it into your calculator, you would say, for like the first one, B. And I think it goes in brackets. And then you'd say A. And don't forget your A1. And then that will spit out your answer. So what that spits out for the top one is it gives you a 5, 14, and a 5. When you take 88, 201, and 251 times your inverse, that ends up giving you a 13, 25, and a 0. When you do it to D, you get 6, 15, and 21. And then down at the bottom, you have 14, 4, and 0. So these numbers all correspond to a letter of the alphabet. So let's see what we get here. Well, 5 is E, 14 is N, and 5 is E again. Then we go down here to the bottom. We have 13, which is M, 25, which is Y, 0 is a space, so we have enemy, 6 is F, like some of your grades. Uh, 15 is O, sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud. 21 is a U, 14 is N, once again we have D, and 0, we have 0. So, all together now, we see enemy found. That is your encoded message. So, encoding, decoding, what a wonderful life we live in. And that, my folks, my friends, is it for Lesson 7, 8, and Lesson 7.